Hello, and let's get started on our first task, our first activity for term two. You can see here on the screen, I'm back in the content library of our external assessment, and we've uh, done number one, we've done number two, we've done number three, we've done number four, we've done number five, and we're in a good state of completion with number six. In other words, we're probably about halfway through number six, I would say, those of us who are up to date. Okay. The life cycle analysis of my project is really how we ended uh, term one. And what we're going to be working on this term over the next week or so is the competing priorities and compromises during decision making and design. We'll uh, look at some examples from industry and explain those. We'll have a bit of a talk about the factors that would impact sustainability. And that's the end of the assessment, more or less. We've got a bibliography. Remember, those should be growing in size as, as this assessment continues on. And we'll have a very short evaluation, just a, a paragraph that wraps up the report. These we will do in week three. Week one, we're going to look at competing priorities and compromises. And then in week two, we'll look at the examples from industry. We'll get the factors that impact sustainability. And we'll get all of this bit tied together. It's okay to write them as separate paragraphs or separate pieces of information, but it would be a far better report if you can actually link all of these together, really merge them into one body of work. It shows a better depth of understanding that way. So the competing priorities and compromises that we're going to look at today, I've got a, a new help page that I've produced uh, to, to guide us through this. It's here, you can see in the content library, help what are competing priorities and compromises. Okay, there's a little bit of information on here. Uh, I won't read through all of it with you, but just to point out how it can help. A priority and a compromise. You need to know what they mean in order to really identify them and explain them. And this page or this part of the page does just that. It explains these, uh, these, these phrases or terms or words. A priority is working out the importance of something. Is it really important, high priority? Is it not that important, a low priority? Putting them in order of importance, putting things in order. A compromise is when you have to really let something slide. So for example, there might be a high priority, uh, for example, um, finishing the game of Clash of Titans, um, but the compromise is not doing that because you've got an assignment to write. So you might prioritize something quite high, but there's something that gets in the way that means you have to say, I understand its importance, but I can't do it right now. Compromises is what we're talking about here. TKI say it in a similar way. The TKA, TKI glossary explains competing priorities as potentially conflicting outcomes within technological practice that require identification and a judgment on relative value in order to decide on appropriate course of action. What a wonderful sentence that is, if only we understood it. It's actually really good. If you pick it apart, it says very clearly what we're talking about in terms of technology, compromises and priority. It's explaining, so having some understanding of. Competing priorities, in other words, a priority that's quite high that competes with another priority that's quite high. We'll look at some examples soon. They're conflicting. So when you have two priorities and one can happen and one can't, there's a conflict. Um, they happen in your tech practice, so during your design and build. They require identification. In other words, you have to spot them and say, this is what's happening. And a judgment on relative value. In other words, you make a decision. You make a judgment, a decision, and you say, based on the importance of this and the importance of that, this is my decision. And you make that clear as to why you took that course of action. Okay. Read the rest at your leisure. Some examples. Budget versus best quality materials. Maybe sticking within the school budget is a high priority. But having high quality materials might also be a high priority. 
Can you do both? Often you can't. So which one gives? In your design, what did you do? Were you able to build a small project that was economical and good quality? Or did one of those two things have to give? Uh, maybe one of your competing priorities would have been complexity versus the quality of the outcome. So what I'm talking about here is some designs often can be really complicated. They're great, but difficult to build, time consuming to build. And in the context of our uh, time in the workshop at level one, when we were building our projects, we didn't have the time or skill to be very, very complicated in our project building. So did you have to uh, compromise on the complexity, let some of the nice features go, in order to build a high quality outcome? Or did you keep hold of those complex ideas and the quality wasn't great because there wasn't time to make it great? Another example, uh, durability versus the environmental impact. Uh, one basic example, a really durable material, plastic. The environmental impact of plastic is huge. Did you have any uh, decisions like that where you chose a material that uh, has an impact on the environment and you had, to, uh, you had to make the decision, the compromise, to um, ignore the environmental impact and uh, use the suitable material? Another example, Quila. Quila, wonderful wood, hardwood, heavy, slow growing, very durable, great looking, nice to work with, quite expensive. But in terms of its environmental impact, which is potentially huge, is it the right material? Was it the right material to use? Discuss your priorities and your compromises that you made. What were the competing ideas? What did you have to make decisions on? What were the options? And what led you to make a particular decision? One more, uh, durable, hard to work material versus time constraints. So did you want to build your project out of American oak? Beautiful timber, but incredibly difficult to work with. Very durable material, a bit like Wheeler, but even harder to work with, hard to cut, hard to sand, hard to shape, and you only had a set time to build your project. Was that perhaps one of your priorities and compromises that were competing? So your task. Your task is to discuss the various competing priorities within your design decision making and explain what compromises you made and why you made those compromises. In your description, try and use reference to the three pillars of sustainability and your life cycle analysis. Now you can choose to do this as a separate activity or you can go back to your life cycle analysis and you can um, add to the descriptions that you've already produced. Your choice. I quite like the idea of adding to what you've already done, integrating into the work, often will show a better depth of understanding, but there is no problem keeping this separate if you want to. Uh, if we were to look at, online at the exemplar, here it is in fact, the excellence exemplar, the competing priorities and compromises was uh, done as a separate piece of work. Not quite the same way as I'm describing, but very similar, but it was separate. So you choose if you want to have it the same or separate. Uh, let me just find my OneNote again. There it is. Okay. So there's your task. I'm just going to go out of the content library before we sign off here and show you this task timeline page, which I've created. And this just shows each time I introduce a new task or activity over this lockdown period, what we were doing and where we should be at. This is my planning document. I'm using this to keep track of where we're at. You can use this document if you want. You can see here we're in term two. Uh, Wednesday the 29th of April. Today I'm setting this task that I've just described to you. On Friday I will set the next task. Having said that, this particular activity, uh, which is, here we go, 
this one here, the competing priorities and compromises, I would expect you to be working on this up to and probably including Friday. But I'm going to set the next task on Friday, so those of you who finish can get straight onto it. And for those of you who want to use the next task to uh, add to your competing priorities and compromises, you can do so. Okay, so the next one will come out on Friday. It will be this one here, examples from industry. However, I would expect you to start this either Friday or the following Monday. That's it for today. That's it for this tutorial. If you've got any questions about the competing priorities and compromises, you know how to contact me, email or via the stream. That's it for now. Bye.